Patrick Villeneuve, and I've had a lot of requests for uh, healthy dishes in order to help people detox and to nutrify the body. But dishes are quick and easy to make and can last you a couple days and really bring a lot of health and energy to the body. Today, we're actually gonna show you how to make a quick and easy vegetarian chili. Outstanding flavor and uh, very easy to make. We have all the ingredients here and we're about to start a video on how to prepare this. I hope you enjoy it and look forward to your feedback. Thank you very much. So here we are, we just cleaned off the vegetables and now we're actually, you know, picking out uh, the bits that most people don't eat, but your pets and your farm animals I'm sure could uh, make quick uh, use of these. This recipe should actually call for um, about 20 minutes of your time before it goes into the pot, all said and done. Now, if you're a, a very busy person, you know, that's equivalent to the time to either go to a restaurant to buy a quick meal or to go to the grocery store and buy you some prefabricated foods that are generally not very healthy for you anyways. Um, so this is actually a really good route to go. If you can keep your meal time, prep time, within 20 minutes to half an hour, I think that would work in most people's schedules. And you're also connecting with your food as you're doing this, which is actually a really good practice. Not only that, you get to know exactly what's going into your body. So green peppers, or soy peppers, whatever kind you like, um, just clean up the seeds. I like to personally pick um, close around. I like to waste as little as possible. If it's edible, that's great. Uh, two large onions, very important. We're gonna cut those up first. Depends how you want to dice it. If you've never done it before, as I said, it's not rocket science, experiment. If you don't like the size of your chunks, next time you make your, uh, your chili, you just keep a note on it and make appropriate changes as to how you're gonna cut your vegetables. As you can tell, I'm not a chef. Sure some of you could critique the way I'm cutting, but I'm showing you that you know you don't have to be a pro in the kitchen to have fun and to make a nutritious meal. Just be safe. Don't cut yourself, that could ruin a day. So now we're gonna do our peppers. It always takes a while to cut your peppers. If you have a dull knife and you're not a person who's actually keeping track of uh, keeping very sharp knives, which a sharp knife is much safer anyways, I recommend uh, always cutting from the inside where the meat is and not the skin through the skin of whatever it is you're cutting through. That way you can stay safe while using a dull knife. I mean, this is not rocket science. You're just chopping up a whole bunch of goodies in there. They're gonna get soft while you're uh, you're cooking. And it's all going down the same pie hole if we're gonna look at it that way. We're here to nourish our bodies in a quick and easy way. This can actually be fun for the whole family to do, so get as many people involved as possible, especially if you don't do a lot of cooking already. This is a good 
easy way to get into cooking and actually possibly fall in love with it. Um, that's, that's what uh, my partner and, and I did, is actually just started playing around with recipes and uh, getting connected with our food. Once we start growing our food, um, then it made it that much more fun because then you see it from seed right up to your table. And that's actually a pretty cool process and experience to have. Not for everybody, of course. I mean, this, this video is actually geared to somebody who's too busy or just has not spent a lot of time in the kitchen to finally start taking control of their health and uh, put some very nutritious meals back into the body. Because I assure you, you will not really get a nutritious meal by any means by going to a restaurant. I don't care which restaurant it is, there's either too much fat, too much salt, and uh, a lot of times they're not using the best ingredients because they're there to make a profit, and if they're there to make a profit, something has to be sacrificed on average. As I said, it's not always the case. There's definitely some good meals to be had out there at a price. So here you are saving yourself money. Um, based on the price of uh, produce at the, at the right time, at this time of year, and uh, the choices that we've made today, uh, we're, we're looking at a bill of about $50 for all the ingredients said and done. And you're looking for about, uh, depending if it's two people. If it's two people, this chili size and this amount of ingredients should actually feed you for about four days. So now for two people, you're looking at about $10 per meal uh, per day, which is uh, very reasonable for something that's going to be healthy. And uh, if you're a takeout person or you don't cook a lot, um, you know what it's like to eat fast food or restaurant food, this is saving you a ton of money, making you healthy, and just the rich smells and flavors just are, are just so attractive. And when you start to get connected with your food, you uh, really start to appreciate uh, what it is that you're getting into. I can't stress that enough. On to the zucchini. Obviously the size of your pot is going to matter. And what I like to do is actually put all my veggies in first. So then um, when I put in the rest or want to put the rest in, I know how many veggies I have there. And sometimes you have to take a little bit out uh, depending on pot size that you have. This is just a quick video that we're doing and even the staff kicking around are just smelling the scents and you can see everybody's licking their lips already. We're not even cooking yet. <laughs> so already I can tell by looking at this pot that I'm going to need to take a little bit of vegetables out so that I can get my tomatoes and my beans in there consistently. Um, completely. Because actually the tomatoes and the beans are Obviously, some of your most important ingredients for a chili. So you want to aim that root. So right here, I'm actually going to take out about half of it. Just for now. Just like so. I'm just going to put them aside. And I'm going to add them in a little later. See, quick improvisation. We're filming at the same time here so you get the full view of a working kitchen in real time. So this is the rough of this kitchen recipe. We have boiling and then we're actually going to stir this after the fact. Once 
once you achieve a boil, you want to bring it down to a simmer. And let it simmer now for, I believe, half an hour, and you should be able to uh, go. In this case, I would say a timer for about 10 minutes so that we can actually add the quinoa after that. It doesn't take very long for all your veggies to soften up due to the water content. So you're going to be enjoying it. It's nice to have uh, a la Dante uh, items in here as well. So the reason you add your spices at the very beginning is actually to bring out that flavor from the bottom up as to travel right through the food. I'm a lazy guy, so I found that to be uh, one of the best ways to uh, make my meal quicker. So at this stage now, we're going to add the quinoa. This has been going on the stove for a good 10 to 15 minutes. And you don't need a lot of this. Um, the reason I like to add quinoa in this ancient grain is actually because it is a complete protein. It has all the amino acids your body needs in order to uh, make its own uh, protein and rebuild itself. One of the secrets of making a healthy meatless dish is adding quinoa or hemp, uh, shelled hemp seeds uh, to your dishes or to our favorites that we do. Quinoa does not really gain in size uh, when it is boiled. So um, you can feel fairly comfortable to add it. Plus it's only going to absorb the existing water you have in your chili already. This probably the most I will put in here and soon in about another five minutes I'm going to add the mixed greens to this mix and as you can tell we're gonna have a very very full pot of chili to enjoy for the whole family here there we go put the lid back on and wait another 10 minutes and then we add our baby greens and we'll be ready to eat soon afterwards Right here we're about 10 minutes away from being ready by looking at the color of the center. Yeah, you don't have you can actually use a rice cooker, but when your quinoa is fully ready, you'll find that the little tails are going to either come off or at least separate from the quinoa, and the quinoa will be mostly uh, transparent. As you can see, these are all different stages of cooking. So just a quick way to uh, reference your preparedness. And I believe the way we add this once your quinoa is ready, that this meal is ready to serve. Time for feeding the family. Total cooking time, half an hour. Including prep time with vegetables and putting everything together, add another 10, 15 minutes. So you're looking into this about 40 minutes of your time, most of it not in front of the stove. You can actually go ahead and do other things around the home and wait for a beautiful nutritious meal that will keep you full and satisfied for a long time. Vegetarian chili at its best.